I used AI to clone my voice and make fake phone call to my wife to see if she would pick up that it wasn't me. Hey honey, it's me. Firstly, don't worry, I'm fine. But I'm calling you because I got mugged to speak to this police officer. Are you okay, love? What happened? Police officer Sarah Harris with yes. the Dallas County yes, Sheriff's hi. Office. I just need to confirm some information. What is his social security number? His number is... Okay, and now please how, you know how Sarah I will call you back shortly to tell you where to come to meet him. Okay. She totally freaked out. It wasn't me talking. In fact, I'm not talking right now either. What you are hearing may sound like me, but it's an AI cloned voice. And this is a growing issue that is being used to scam people. I am back. I am definitely going to need to make it up to her. In her panic state, she handed over all my personal information. She heard my voice. And the next thing you know, she was talking to a police officer. If this was real, the scammer would have gotten all my confidential information or even could have gotten cash. Picture this scenario where you get a phone call from your kid who is away in college. Mom, I screwed up. I was caught shoplifting. The manager is calling the police. He wants $100. Please, mom, do it. I don't want to go to jail. Yes, you might be furious with your kid, but at the moment, would you not just help them out? Most people would. I mean, let's be honest. If you received a random phone call asking for money or personal information, uh, you would just hang up. But what really sells the scam is that it's your own family who is calling you. You hear your kid's voice, your partner's voice, or your parent's voice, and you may just fall for it. Now, some of you are thinking that you would never answer a phone unless you recognize the name. And that is true. But remember that scammers are able to spoof any number. That means that they can make it seem like you're getting a phone call from any number that they want to. Since all this personal information is readily available online, they simply grab that cell phone number making it look like it came from your kid and let's say you didn't answer and you let it just go to voicemail that's fine they just do this mom my phone was stolen call me urgently this is my friend's number i need to speak with you immediately as a parent that would scare the heck out of me and i would absolutely call that number these scumbag scammers are targeting the elderly it was just exactly like noah it was uh unbelievable it was, it's scary he says i was involved in a car accident and i have a broken nose like seriously so how do scammers pull this off how do they use the person's voice to say whatever they want them to say well there are many software services that allow you to clone your voice these range from the free services which are bad to okay but then there are the paid voice cloning services and you're able to tweak them to make it sound exactly like you and that is what it's meant for to clone your own voice, not somebody else's. That is against the terms and conditions of the service. But scammers clearly don't care about those terms. And it's so simple to do. To clone anybody's voice, all you need is one minute of the person's voice. And the more voice audio that you upload into the system, the better the results are going to be. So what these scammers do is find the kid's account on social media. They then do some quick Google searches and find relatives and other useful information. All the information they need is freely available online. We've all seen those Facebook posts by proud parents of first day in college. Once they have enough info, they grab the audio from social media, they upload it to the system to train it, and then they can write whatever they want the person to say. Simple and lucrative. So what do you do if you get one of these phone calls? Well, for this to work, scammers do their homework. They find an account and they find all the information that they need in order to come up with that convincing story. This doesn't take very long as they've got special software that can scrape information from the web. This is why I recommend the Delete Me service who are the sponsors of today's video. What they do is scour the internet for your personal information and they get it removed automatically. Yes, you can do it yourself. You can go to every website that has your information and you can manually get it removed. And if you've ever tried to do that, you know that this process takes weeks. You have to go to each website, complete all these documents, send in the request, and then if you are lucky, it gets removed. But the problem is that weeks later, websites simply put it back up again when they buy more data from these data brokers. Why I personally use the Delete Me service is because they keep monitoring the web. Should my personal information make it back onto these websites after being removed, Delete Me gets to work to get it taken down again. 
you also get this report with all the websites that you have your very personal information on and this is a set and forget service that just works to do exactly that i have a special link in the description if you would like to get your information removed from these websites and keep your family safe what every family should do is have two family passphrase if you ever get a phone call like this just ask for that passphrase so you have one password to confirm that it is indeed a family member and the other password is what i call the red alert password if you ever hear that password you know that they're in deep trouble and you need to get to them as soon as possible and call the police it's a scary world that we live in that we even have to think like that but here we are another thing to do is to stall the person on the phone whilst you look for your credit card or social security number or whatever the heck they're asking for use another phone in the house to call the person who they say needs your help most likely they will answer and be super confused so you know it's a scam and can safely hang up i would also say that with ai you can listen for weird voice tones or pauses or inflection in the voice and yes that's good in theory but when you are in a state of shock and 2 a.m having just been woken up from a deep sleep this isn't so easy so a passphrase is the best solution in my opinion just another heads up for the kind of scumbag scammers we're dealing with out there who are getting smarter using the latest technology very much like this super smart scam that got me whilst I was traveling or check out this video right over here that YouTube thinks you would watch hit the head down here to subscribe and let's get to that 1 million subscriber mark but right now I need to go make it up to my wife wish me luck